Hello, and welcome back to Evadar Plays, Edmund Won't Die, Kings 2. Last we were off, we were just raiding, and <coughs> holy moly, I drank water and a little bit didn't go down the esophagus, but the wind pipe, of which much wind comes out of, of which you are subject to hearing at this time, for some reason. <laughs> Yeah, uh, middle six. We could claim it. We won't. We we're just there's so many options. We can't fight the empires at this time. Edmund's not dead. I'm trying to keep it so that we're gonna be safe. The factions aren't gonna be bad because this jerk is gonna become strong without dying somehow. We need a current physician. We do. We fix it that way. He died. The balcony fell, and he died. We got him. But he probably has a kid now. Ah! Uh. <laughs> he had a kid. He had two kids. Well, this should be easier. The time it took was extensive. And when it comes to managing this mess... I don't want to take any chances. I'm going to find every single one of these individuals in both Puerto Rico and Santo Domingo a, a, a spouse for which to continue their family lines and hopefully not perish too rapidly before, you know, giving their... Off my eyes. Hmm. Okay, he has cancer, though. He has an heir, but he has cancer. Right. You will perish, right? It's... Yes. World is too cruel for children, and it's too cruel for my ears. Why are you... It's just... It never ends. These people, they... they it never ends. It's just these... The, the trail of murder is... It's... It's going much further than I want it to. I mean, I did this with the with the Bustamante line and the people who followed from it, but like, this is just, these are just two duchies. I can't, and then I don't even want them. I just want them to not be dumb. Anyways, I'm raiding and I think I'm done here. Yeah, I'm done here. We're gonna bring these guys back onto lands that matter. Group up. Group up and hit it till it dies. I feel like this light blue is just getting further over the coast of Venezuela and it's just like this this empire is I mean what is this? Whoa. It's a kaleidoscope of Mexico. Tagua the relative of Sagua it is still a beautiful mess out here in the west it's just blue and red red white and blue the real america <laughs> here's just gray and brown and there's british people <laughs> Let's see there are british people yes there are maritimers yeah newfie hmm yeah why the quebecois empire is down here i will not know i could know let's check it out Emperor Nere? I could, I could take him. Why do I have a beard such as this? Pfft, whack. Hold on a minute, what's going on here? Andros? It's just Andros? He is my family. I will allow it. I will allow it. Hmm. Anybody else? William, get out of here. You're worth 46 gold. Which is more than I would appraise you personally, but... <laughs> Peschenville? Can't build anything in Port-au-Prince. It's done. Any tech we can build? 
Religious customs is available, but it's kind of halfway there. I'd rather do popular customs. Let's see. How is our religion? 78. Uh-oh. Cooperstown. Why is Cooperstown no longer part of our religion? Grand Virginia has taken it. Ooh! How do we deal with this? We're too busy dealing with our internal strifes to fight the outsiders. Maybe if I wasn't such a coward, I would live with these psychos being all big and scary. I'd have to become big and scary myself in a way that they couldn't imagine. How could I make them like me? It's, it's inconceivable. It's impossible. Hmm. And then we have shifted noble obligations. <laughs> I accept your ransom. Very good. For some reason, we just have so many soldiers raised at the moment. That we have so many waiting at the moment as well. We have all these soldiers here. We should see where we can raid. And, quite frankly, economically, this place is free to be raided. But it just kind of doesn't feel right raiding that place again so instead we're gonna ruin the grand virginia's day the grand i keep calling it the grand virginia and i don't quite understand prince tyrone i don't want you to hold land but you're the only son i have and you what when did this happen Oh, Lordy, you've had a whole bunch of children. I've made my family line slow. Here I go killing again. All right. Florida. All right, this should be good. We've been over our vassal limit for so long. Please just end it so I can move on. And they know I did it. They just know. I have never... Okay, land has been converted to brethren. Ah, love it. Love seeing this turn into brown. <laughs> All right. The people of a county are our brethren, so they are brethren, yes. That's circular logic, but don't think too hard. You will be struggling. Don't point that snake at me. You will also be struggling, I guess. You are twins, brave and brave. <laughs> I was like, oh, where's my army? It's gone. Well, we killed the guy. And that was the sound of uh, his heir is that guy. <sighs> Just there's Dwight, there's the Alta Gracia, the Via Alta Gracia. He doesn't have any land. He's just the heir. I refuse to allow him to own that for as long as that it exists. Um, we got some cows and horses. We sell them. Um, success. We killed the guy, but they know we did it. Artabanit still will not convert from voodoo. Typical. They know I did it. But he must die now. Now, there's not a lot of people who want him dead, and that's the scary thing. We need to find somebody who's willing to end his life. Or to support the plot to end his life. Which is more of a moral support thing, I assume. But <laughs> give me moral support so that we can kill him. 
so I can inherit this land. What? What, what did I just inherit? There's too much. There's too much to check. I inherited a land. San Juan. Hmm. This man did want to kill me. Hmm. I don't appreciate it. Now, something more in Laringo. Everything is 268 or higher, except for castle fortifications. We don't care about castle fortifications. If they ever get to this castle in the list of, of, build, of holdings to siege, then we're already in deep... We're... Trouble. We're already in deep trouble. <laughs> Almost got Google on my butt there for saying things I shouldn't have. All right, now we've got vassals that don't like us. Gavelkin succession is too popular. Why? Who's supporting it? Hamagoy? He has 10,000 soldiers? In his primogeniture? Good. Very good. Now I can kill him and his lands will split between him. He will not like us for that. That is true. Nathan of Barahona. Of course he doesn't like us. Oh, you. Oriente. Also pretty strong. But really, Kamagui is too strong because the entirety of Kamagui seems to be contained in mostly this guy. And it's like, why? Why? Why are you so... Did we just lose a... F oh. Run! I was not paying attention and Grand Virginia came for us. <laughs> we must retreat. Casita de la Ferriere. Alright. Guess I can't raid them for a while. Because of that mistake. Because I thought I could AFK loot. But I, I couldn't. So that was a lie. Yeah, that's a pickle. We can loot baloney? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Texarkana. Texarkana. Hmm. We can't loot there. I just told myself we lost the privileges to loot them. Why do you think you can loot them? Me? Are you a fool? A bozo? <laughs> Captain Lee, you must you must perish. Because I demand it. Oh, that's part of the Ismenu Empire by extension? Interesting. Parnell the Tenacious. One less threat to the establishment. Now we have too many land. Alright. Hispaniola? All right. Of course, we have to get an expensive man, a noble. You get... What is this? Uh, Goyama. You get Goyama. And we get a holy man onto Mayaways. And why do I have more lands than I think I do? Why do I have 12 and not like 10? I'm confused. Oh yeah, here. Of course. These are retinues? Yeah, they are. Nice. Free retinue. Um, let me just raise some boats. It's not big enough. <laughs> no, not enough boats. I'll have to get them myself. This place... Holy man. Holy man. This is Antigua and Barbuda. All right, excellent. And this place, holy shoot, there's more. There's so many little islands that I didn't know belong to me, technically. Do we have the ability to build the Leeward Isles?
We do. And I think in time we should. And by in time, I mean after a little bit more management because we are just about to handle this. So religion, culture, yes, it's all good. Just get a holy man on Santo Domingo. And to that, I say, um, Feliz Navidad in June. Uh, <laughs> Santo Domingo man, he will be too strong. La Romana, now he's a guy. He's lustful, he's wrathful, he's cruel, he's paranoid, he's stubborn, he's brave, and he's deceitful. These are a lot of traits. Should we give him the power? Should we give Barahom? Let's give Benefactor the power. He's got cancer. We give him Flotilla of Santo Domingo. This makes things simpler. I think I was supposed to give this guy a wife. Let's actually arrange a marriage really quick. You with Cheryl? Maybe someone on the younger side? Um, she doesn't like me. So who better to... Um, why does she like me? Dishonorable? I am very dishonorable. I attempted to murder her sibling. Uh, yeah, you can have that as your wife. Hopefully. All these people have spouses. So that when they perish, they don't immediately pass their land to the person in power. Uh, how about you? Do you have a spouse? No, you don't. You need a spouse. You should marry. Obviously, the other person who hates me. My rival. <laughs> and let's see. You, you also need a wife. You shall marry yourself to Simone. Yes, that seems about right. Okay, these marriages will occur. Hopefully they'll occur. If they don't, then they don't. Okay, good. The marriages have seemed to have uh, happened. So I will find somebody worthy. Brave, charitable, stubborn, temperate. How about Marwes? He's a lot of things. I think we give it to this guy. I grant you, Flotilla of Puerto Rico. There we go. Now we can create Leeward Isles. Leeward Isles. Create. We see what vassals do we have here? We have one, two. Okay, one of them is me. <laughs> Holy man to St. Kitts and Nevis. Then there's Angula. There's Captain Raymonds. He's angry. Here's an idea. How about you have a Capri son and we'll talk after that. Okay? You marry... V Yvonne. How's that? You marry Yvonne. And you... You should marry somebody as well. Marry... Yourself to... Age. Eugenia? No, that's the other way. Naomi. You? You have a wife. Okay. Now that should settle it. You have a wife and you are a generally good guy, I guess. So grant you a flotilla of Leeward Isles. Oh, hold on a minute. This this guy doesn't... 
I tried to marry this guy to somebody even though he doesn't even part of our land. Whoops. <laughs> Anyways, you have the land. Go ha go ham. Fight Bahama. Okay, you are Admiral. You're not related to us at all even. No wonder. Tayana the Incapable. Admiral of Trinidad. Unfaithful. Okay. Okay. Things are looking up. I have managed to make this organized. Hopefully they do not become a pain in the butt later. Dangerous factions. Surely you're going to leave that faction, right? Because you like me a lot. Now, Hamagui. Kamagui. Kamagui. You do make quite an issue of existing the way you do because you have land here and land here and that is okay you have land here oriente has land here that is not within the bounds of the contracts you guys can be strong on your own without making an issue of me also i mean maybe we'll just for the fun of it we'll uh how you say We'll, we'll create a we'll create the the uh, high seas empire again it was created and then it dies and you create it and then it dies you can try to create it again maybe it'll work this time yeah publicly follow the brethren religion does sound right so let's ensure. Jack Stonewall, Sparrow of the High Seas Empire. Back to the big brown blob again. Does it help? Does it help? Because if it does, it's good. If it doesn't, it's bad. Son was born to a roof. Fitz Sophia. And a religion broke out. Not a religion. A disease. <laughs> Some might say they're interchangeable. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Alright. Uh, cities and temples, of course. Popular customs. Military technology. Infantry, I believe. Yeah, that should be... Okay, yeah. Yup, yup. Very good. Olivia Fitzlorraine. You're related. No, you're not. You're in House Fitzlorraine. You're a bastard of my dynasty. Your niece. Okay. You can be thrifty. Very good. Let's look at our dangerous factions. Oriente. How dare you. How dare they. How absolutely dare they. Also, how long have we had these guys on this island? I guess we've been paused the entire time to manage all these lands. Um, large defenders of Georgetown. A large number of defenders of Georgetown have succumbed to starvation. Not what I had planned. Wait, that's good. But why do we only have 5,000 soldiers? Something about the Lions of Judah? Anze Agle? We can build something here. A pirate port, of course. Always the pirate ports. Oh, the, the, the fun never ends with the pirate ports. Oh, Peshenville. What do we build here? This is not Peshenville. This is Peshenville. Another pirate port. <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Georgetown, a keep. Lots of things. Wonderful, glorious. The number is always in the 1Ks, the 2Ks even. The Kiona is in the 5Ks. La Ringo is in the 1.89. It's good. The sun over the high seas empire. Share some wealth. We like to share wealth. It's good for the... The fiber of the bowels of the body that is our sovereign nation of the High Seas Empire. Yes, that's a good... Uh, that's a good analogy. Yeah, that's, like, definitive. Mm-hmm, yep. All right. I think we're done with this army because... So many people in this army have perished over time. They're the veterans. They get to go home. 
of the 2,000 soldiers that we sent. Also, we've got some army here. Maybe we should, like, get some boats. Is that enough? Is it enough? Can you get on the boat? Yes, you can. They can, they can. Maybe last time I just goofed. <laughs> Bring my retinues over here. I'm collecting retinues from other people, yes. Blackmail the vassal. Of course we blackmail the vassal. And he's out. He's not going to be in the factions anymore. Very good. He is weakened by this event. Surely. Temple. You have, you have 5,000 soldiers in retinues. And we could have a, a like point. We could have 300 more, I think. 300 more points. But we don't really have. Turks and Caicos has been converted as well. Excellent. We like to see the conversions. Still not good that we have only a 76% here. We like that number to be higher. My grandson, you are slow. You must have faith. <laughs> Portia, you've been attacked like three times every time you've tried to convert Artabanit. The tunas? Riding through the countryside together with my escort, I come upon a lonely inn. Oh no, I'm about to die, aren't I? What is that infernal smell? I think I'm about to explode. Hmm. Who's a threat? I mean, we did make a lot of enemies. It was probably Steven. Steven. Why? Why, Steven? I gave you what you have, I think. My guards detain the innkeeper, pull up the full. Yeah, it's a manure thing. Okay. We find it. We, we've subdued it. We're going to kill Steven. Who can we imprison? Is he an enemy? Lincoln the Wise? I almost opened the cheat menu. Or not the cheat menu. It's called the console. Okay. Are there any plots to kill me? Okay, Lincoln, you're fabricating a claim to kill me. That's no, not claim. Not kill. You're fabricating a claim. You're failing, though. But who is it that's causing us so much issue? Well, first, excuse me. Well, I am going to make short work of Steven. There might be a revolt on our hands soon. Where is the revolt button? Here it is. Ah, oh, yike. Gross. No, I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I was going to try to subdue revolts here or here. So now we've got revolt chances really high in these places. But, the re okay, might be speaking literally way too soon. But, wait, why are there raiders? Oh, okay, I was like, how did the raiders get to our island? It's because we have this New Orleans here. All right. Hopefully we stay brown this time because this would be the third time we've created the High Seas Empire and had it collapse. Hopefully I'm not speaking too soon, but I think it's gonna stay High Seas Empire. I'm being optimistic because I know that'll trigger it. Um, it's, it's experimental. They might've fixed this in newer patches. All right. Somebody has been converted to the Brethren Faith. Very good. I will allow it because if I deny him, he'll become angry with me. But now he has a, how you say, a favor over me, I believe. All right, there's that Santorian revolt that we're looking at. And by Santorian revolts, I guess they were talking about these ones, where the revolt risk was apparently not that high, I don't think. Hmm. All right, give me your liege levies. That is... Those are boats. Um, <laughs> okay, that's not a lot. I don't appreciate 
the small number of soldiers that you are trying to provide me here. Do I have to just raise my own numbers here? Just just from this small island, which is so small, it's hidden by the empire symbol. <laughs> Get the boats all aboard. Go to Gitmo. We've got enough soldiers to handle it. They think they can win this. That's embarrassing. Why am I why am I allowed to battle? It's because I <sighs> fool. Now I'm going to have PTSD because I didn't realize I was allowing myself to fight. Anyways, these rebels perish. Okay, now we've got trade map. Ooh, I like that. It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty, even though it means other people are getting money, but it's pretty. Can we build trade stuff here? Not yet. Trade technology hasn't reached that part yet. And, I mean, bam, boom. La Ringo, we build something in La Ringo, of course. Barracks 3. Seems good. Conive. It's done. Port au Prince. Things are still being built. We check our tech. Nothing to see here, I guess. And that should be the end of this episode. We did it again. We made the empire again. Hopefully it stays. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.